Okay, I'm at the ODVA stand now to talk about security in the, in the OT space. Now, there are a number of ways in which assets in the OT space uh, can, be, can be secured. Uh, first and foremost, it's from the architectural perspective. So IT systems and OT systems should be separated uh, using a firewall. Now, here I'm going to demonstrate a number of different, uh, different concepts, uh, specifically concentrating on, uh, on SIP, uh, SIP security and how SIP security can, can be used to protect your, the integrity of your systems as well as the algorithms that exist uh, within your, within your uh, programs. First of all, I'm going to show uh, the impact of a man-in-the-middle attack and how SIP security can protect against a man-in-the-middle attack. Uh, as you can see here, we have two controllers, and these controllers are running uh, a pair of motors, and they're also communicating with these, with these two gateways. One of these systems is secured with SIP security, the other is, the other is not. What we see, it, the motors are currently turning clockwise, uh, some of the time with a speed of 100 RPM and some of the speed, time with a speed of 400 RPM. In the middle, we have a PC uh, from which we're, we're running an attack on the system. I'm now going to start a man-in-the-middle attack, and what you'll see in a few seconds is the attack succeeds on some of the devices. The first thing we see is with this gateway device, uh, instead of blinking green, the LEDs are now blinking red. So the attack has had uh, an impact on the operation of, of our machine. The next thing we see that the motor, instead of running uh, forwards at 100 and 400 RPM, is now running backwards at 1500 RPM. Uh, the concept of SIP security it uses uh, transport layer security and uh, datagram transport layer security in order to ensure the encryption of the packets and to ensure that the attack is, uh, is not successful. And as, as we saw through that, uh, that demo, the secured system, uh, the, the, both the, the LEDs continue to blink green and the motor continue to operate as it was, uh, as it was designed to do. The challenge we have in the OT space is, uh, is setting this up. And in order to achieve that, we have a, a tool called Factory Talk Policy Manager, which eliminates the complexity of setting up the certificates or the keys needed to ensure secure communication. Factory Talk Policy Manager allows people to define a security policy that aligns with their, with their architecture. And this is what we see here. We have an architecture consisting of a line controller and a number of different zones. And within the, within the, the, the tool, we can see how those zones are, are secured. Also on this panel, we see a number of enabling technologies. So for companies that are looking to implement SIP security within their own devices, these modules from Hilsha, HMS and real-time automation are available in order for implementation within um, people's own devices. Last but not least, we're also showing the integration with the, uh, the IT security policy. Here we show a security device that can be used, for example, for deep packet inf inspection and monitoring of the traffic on the, on the network. And this links in to a software tool from, from Cisco System, which allows uh, for uh, uh, traffic patterns to be monitored and for alarms to be triggered if anomalies are detected.